we create a test using the page object model by starting with the base test. One of the reasons for creating a base test is to set up WebDriver and to tear down WebDriver. Here are the base test and three test scripts. Two of the test scripts are for the login functionality and one test script is for the product functionality. For the base test, the variables are private, web, driver, driver. And the URL is private, final string, application under test, AUT underscore URL. The value is HTTPS colon two forward slashes www.saucedemo.com. Some fields in our page object model may include final and may not include final. It depends on how you want to create your design pattern. Writing final is a way of making sure the value does not change. In this case, the value for AUT underscore URL cannot be changed. Let's start with the annotations for testNG at before class. Public void setup. We can use system.set property to set the arguments for WebDriver and a path to the executable file. However, I am going to write web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup. You can watch video 142 if you want more info about web driver. It's a library for automating the management of our drivers. Initialize the driver by writing driver dot driver equals new Chrome driver. Maximize the window by writing driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Load our application by writing driver dot get aut underscore URL. After loading the application, let's implement a way for our three test scripts to access the login page. Protected login page, login page. I mark the field protected so each test script has access to the login page after inheriting the base test. Create an instance by writing login page equal new login page. Pass in the driver. Next is the annotation for after class. This configuration will tear down our test automatically after executing the test script after class public void tear down driver dot quit we can write more in this base test but that's all I'm gonna write for now the benefit of having a base test is to avoid setting up and turn down every test. Now, let's move on to creating our login test. For the login locked out user test, we inherit the base test by writing extends base test. The annotation is at test public void test locked out user gets error message. Now we write the logic for testing the locked out user. From the login page, we set the username to locked underscore out underscore user. Also, the login page will set the password to 
secret underscore sauce. Then click the button on the login page. Do you see how the IntelliSense shows the method click login button and products page? This lets us know that calling click login button has a transition, which returns the products page. The application makes a transition by changing from the login page to the products page. Therefore, we assign click login button to products page. Products page. Thankfully, we did not add a failed assertion to our page object class. In this test script, we expect an error because the user is locked out and we want the test to pass. Go to the application. The username, locked out user. Password, secret sauce. And we see the message contains epic sad face. Go back to our test script and write assert dot assert true. <laughs> Login page, get error message. Make sure the message contains epic sad face. Let's run. We see the test pass. Next is the test a user can log into the application, then verify the product's label is displayed. You see, I have each test in separate classes, but they can easily be in the same class. Either way is okay. On a project, I would group all tests related to the lockdown user in one class and all tests related to a standard user in a different class because we may have more than one test for each user type. First, we extend base test. Annotation, at test. Public void, test standard user can log in. This time, let's use the convenience method on the login page. We will log in with standard underscore user, password, secret underscore sauce. Then transition to the products page, products page. Now verify the products label is displayed. Assert dot assert true. On the products page, is product label displayed? Let's run. The test passed. Let's create one more test really quick for the products page. Go to the test backpack class and it also extends base test. At test public void test add backpack. On the login page, we log in with username standard underscore user. Password, secret underscore sauce. Then assign to the products page. Products page. At this point, our test 
is on the products page and the test will add backpack. After adding a backpack, we're going to verify the button name for add to cart changes to remove. So we write assert dot assert equals products page get button name. We expect the name to be remove in all caps. This time, let's run all three tests. At the same time, Test add backpack passed. Test locked out user also passed. We saw it pass already. And test standard user passed. We see all three tests were success. That's it for creating a base test and creating three test scripts using the page object model. If you liked the video, Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, connect with me on LinkedIn, follow me on Twitter, and also you can look at my GitHub. I have all of the transcript, documents, presentations, and code on GitHub, and I have more videos coming, and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you for watching. Books available in paperback, ebook, and PDF. All part one ebooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book and TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.